Hello mates, welcome back. Right, I've got me, uh, I've got this microphone thing on again. I'm trying to get it working. <laughs> I haven't used it for months, so I couldn't get it working properly, so I was sulking about it. Anyway, I, I think I worked it out, so I'm going to record this today. Hopefully it's in stereo. I hope so. Sorry it's a bit noisy, but I'm on Bradford Road, right the side of the main road, and I'm outside Paget's motorcycles. Now, what you didn't probably know about Bally is we've got a history, a heritage of motorcycle racing. This place here in Batley was uh, over opened in 1958 by Peter and Don Paget and the two lads uh, Clive and Gary both work for the business and they've got a history of over mm, I think seven decades of motorcycle racing at the Isle of Man TT races multiple winners in fact I think Gary had at least two wins himself at the Isle of Man TT it might be more than that but if you're interested Blimey. If you're interested, you can search them on Google, Padgett's, Motorcycles, Batley. Search about the Isle of Man TT race and you'll find all about it. And I'll tell you what, I'll get out of the way so you can have a quick look at it. Right, that's better than having my ugly mug stuck in it, isn't it? So, I've got a snuff anchor. I've got a snuff paddle. Yeah, back to basics. And I've got a tin of this one. I haven't reviewed a Jackson's Snuff in ages. Lovely big 20 gram tin. Um, so I thought it's about time I got down and reviewed a Jackson's Snuff. This is Jackson's Extra Strong. It's straightforward, I can tell you now. A bit of a spoiler alert. It is strong, um, but it's not a sneezy one. So I shouldn't be sneezing my head off all over the place today. Look at that, mate. Look at the colour of that. Now they call this SP. They call this that base flower SP. But it's not the SP as we normally know SPs. It's more about it's lightish brown in colour. It's got a medium fine grind on it and it's got a bit of moisture in it as well. And that's their definition of an SP base. It's not as we sometimes know it with bergamot or bergamot, however you pronounce it, and that citrusy, you know, stuff going on. No, that's not, not what it's about. Sorry, I'm sat on a stone wall and getting numb on here. I've just been walking down here, I tell you, I cannot go out, now I'm, de I'm demonetised, so to a certain extent it doesn't matter what I say anymore, but I cannot go out walking without the stench of weed everywhere I go, there's cars all driving past, plumes of smoke coming out, and the stench of weed all over the place, honest, it, I, I reckon most of the people driving around here are absolutely off their nuts on it, incredible, anyway, sun's come out, yeah, I'll get sun on my face, but it's not going to do this video much good. I've spilt it all down my pants as usual. <laughs> oh, mate. I'll tell you, the tin note's exactly the same as you get up your nose. You, you do smell that base flower, but you get this sentimental straight out the tin, and that's all I'm getting. I thought I used to think there was a bit of eucalyptus in it. I don't think there's any eucalyptus at all. I think it's just menthol. And it, you, when you bump it, you get this stingy burn with it, and it starts picking up momentum. You know, at first you think, mm, and then, oh, there you go. <laughs> you know, when they were telling you about plumes of smoke coming out the window. Oh, another one. Hey, oh. Like a racetrack, innit? it? Police do nothing. They come up and down here on motorcycles, no helmets on, doing wheelies down road. <laughs> Absolutely out of control. Nobody gives a monkeys. <laughs> it's lawless. <laughs> but this snuff is absolutely divine. Great value for money, 20 gram tin. I recommend this one. I like menthols, you know I like menthols. Um, it's lovely, the base flower, that SP base flower is absolutely delightful. Let's give it a, oh man. Full to the brim. Look at that mates. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I need to get them. Um, you might, you might have noticed I'm trying to record these up front and get a few in the in the bank because what, now I'm doing um, simply Whitby. I'm actually doing about four videos a week, and it's believe me, it's time consuming. <laughs> so when I can get a video and get one in the uh, 
on the memory stick for a bit later I try and do that Whew. Whew. so my simply Whitby is going I did one on fish and chips in Whitby my best fish and chips in Whitby it went absolutely mental <laughs> I don't know how many it's had at the moment, but in 16 hours, it had 3,600 views and it was still growing. Loads of subscribes, so it's really working. Thanks for your support with that, I really appreciate it. And let's see how that goes. In the meantime, I'm off on my walk. I've got uh, Jackson's Extra Strong Snuff 20 gram tin, lovely packed. Mmm, golden rusty, rusty brown in colour. We've got a bit of sun out, so I'll be able to show you that a little bit better. It's got a, a medium to fine grind. Oh, man. Oh, a medium moisture, plenty enough moisture. Helps it to stick. Oh, man. Yeah, it, it is pretty strong, but it's, it's not a Radford's or anything like that. So, you know, if you, if, you, if you like menthols, but you don't want that's going to blow the top of your nut off, then I would recommend this to you. I like it, I like it very much. Uh, I don't know why uh, I haven't been taking it recently, but I get a bit lost with these snubs. I buy them and then I do a review on them, then I put them in a, in a drawer somewhere and I forget all about them, I've got loads of them. It, so sometimes it's just nice to have a dig through there and see what's going on. Yeah, light brown in colour. Lovely base flower and a big strong belt of menthol with a stingy burn about it. Yeah, I think it could be a bit drippy, so get it towards the front of your nose, else you're going to get a back drip on it. Right, that's it, mate. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hey, have a look at Paget's. Paget's Yamaha, we used to call it. Look at the, the, the history at the Isle of Man, and they're still racing there, to the best of my knowledge. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. See you later. Chin chin. Hello mates, how you doing? Welcome back. It's a nice quiet day. I'm trying to get ahead of myself and get a few of these videos done. It's a bit overcast. I got my filter on, but I don't think the uh, the image is going to be right good. But I'll do my best. Uh, I'm down at um, on Bradford Road in Batley at Paget's Motorcycles. Now, what you probably didn't know about Batley is that we've got a real uh, history, heritage of motorcycle racing. This company here, I'll get out of your way so you can see it. 